Apple House can record and transcribe your recordings in iPad OS 18. However, not all iPads fully support the feature and it's only available in English for seven countries. English is the only language that we can test because that's the only supported language that we understand. But if you're able to use this feature in a different language, please do let us know. Help others in the comment section down below. To start recording, go to the attachment icon, then record audio. This takes you to a separate window where you can do your recording. For a note taking app, ideally you want to record in the same window as your notes. It's too bad we don't have that set up in Apple Notes. Naturally, the record icon starts your recording and it becomes a pause button when the recording is in progress. At its simplest, you can just record and stop your recording when you're done. On the iPad, it feels like such a waste to have the whole screen dedicated to only recording. You can play back your audio to listen to it. And you have options to rewind or fast forward 15 seconds at a time. It's a shame we don't have playback speed, but that would have been helpful. On the top right corner, Apple knows that you transcribe the audio. The transcription is linked to your audio, so tapping on it takes you to that part of the recording. A sync between notes and audio. Best feature to have in handwriting note taking app. It's also a faster way to start listening to your audio because you can just tap on it and start listening. There's several interactions you can have with the transcript, but none of them include editing errors. Since there's already a full page, it would have been easier to just edit our notes here. But I guess that will have to wait for now. We'll do it a bit later. The three dots icon lets you rename your recording. And then you are done to save the changes. There's not really much you can do when you first record your audio in Apple Notes. Before we forget the errors that I spotted, let's edit the transcript while I remember. It is quite an elaborate process to do that in Apple Notes. That involves reopening the recording you just closed or you just saved. But you have to save the audio at least once for you to get more features under the three dots icon. That will then allow you to add the transcript to your notes. You can also choose to copy the transcript if you want, but we'll just add the transcript to our notes. I really just want to edit these errors while I still remember them. Here it is, and now we can listen to the audio and correct a few errors. It's very easy to play and pause the audio to make corrections. Personally though, I prefer dictation to audio recording. Going back to our audio, let's see what else we can do under the three dots icon because we haven't exhausted that yet. You can search the transcript.
The transcription part is not available in other iPads. There's one iPad in our studio that does not have this feature. So of course all the other interactions that you have with your transcript will not be available if you don't have transcript. So you can search the transcript and even refine your search. Apple Notes lets you save the audio to files. Or shared outside the app. The errors you edit in your notes don't reflect in the transcript because they're not the same thing. The ones in your notes are simply a copy of the original transcript, but you can't do anything to the original transcript. Your only hope is to correct and edit a copy of it. Let's do another recording to demonstrate live transcription. Instead of transcribing after you have finished your recording, you can turn on transcription before you start recording. And that effectively makes this a live transcription. Apple then creates your transcript in real time as you talk. Since there is no way to correct any errors if you spot any, it really makes no difference when you transcribe your recording. Everything else is the same for live transcription, so nothing changes after this. You can only rename your recording the first time. but you still have no interaction with it until you have saved it first. The only thing is that it looks much better when you reopen it. It's a little more organized and better timestamped than when you first record it. The audio recording appearing at the bottom of the screen is a recently opened one. To close it, simply long press. There are several ways to delete a recording. You can do this from within your notes. You can also do this from the recording window. or from the bottom of your screen. Audio transcription even works for audio you bring into the app. It automatically transcribed in my case because the option was already turned on, but you can toggle it, which means you can just tap it again to see the recording wave, if you prefer that. And when your audio is transcribed, you have all the options you need to work on your transcript. And this is a great feature if you do interviews, especially.